at least a, at least a woman preacher is going back home to her husband or a lot of the women preachers that are single at least they're going back home they don't have no i was about to say something crass Welcome to Brian Babs. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. We begin Tim Ross. Tim Ross does not understand why the Bible teaches that women cannot be pastors. Of course, he does not believe that's what the Bible teaches. So he has his own opinions against what the Bible teaches. So let's find out what um, the issues he's having on this subject. He's not the only one, but today we have Tim Ross. Here we go. I'm sick of the way women pastors are being treated. I'm sick of the way women preachers are being treated. It is hypocritical in the body of Christ right now. It is, it is mad wild that y'all don't believe that God could use a woman to preach. It is crazy to me that men still stand up and walk out of a church service on a Sunday morning because he's not going to let a female preach to him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so nobody out here is saying that God cannot use women. He does that all the time. Uh, can women teach? Absolutely, they can. They can teach to other women. They can teach to children. Women are not permitted to teach when the church is gathered because they are not supposed to exercise authority over men. That's according to the scriptures. But Tim Ross does not believe that. So now he's, he wants to bring his opinion at the expense of the scriptures. Okay. Yes. If a woman is teaching and you are in that church, preaching and teaching, of course, you have to walk out. First of all, why are you finding yourself in a, in a church where a woman is preaching and teaching? I'm wondering. So let's continue to hear what Tim Ross has to say about this issue. Out to me is to, to watch uh, pastors who, who, who uh, feel like women aren't supposed to preach on Sunday morning and they wind up having kids and the best preacher out of their kids is their daughter. <laughs> I think that's just God mocking you. <laughs> you got a whole bunch of sons and one daughter and your daughter's the coldest Bible teacher out of everybody. Getting booked all around the nation, but she can't preach at your church on a Sunday morning. <laughs> that's hilarious to me. That's the Lord going, I'll show you what I can do. Well, Tim Ross might think that, but that's not what the Bible teaches, okay? Even if a woman, like, you know, somebody has a daughter and they're being booked all over the place, that still, it does not change what the scripture teaches, okay? I'm suspecting he might be throwing a jab at uh, Priscilla Shire's brothers, okay? That's what I'm suspecting because he ended up bringing up Priscilla Shire. Be that as it may, it's not what... Uh, anybody wants or what anybody else thinks okay besides Priscilla does teach to men she goes and preaches and teaches uh on a sunday at different churches her father does not let her do it uh in his church but she does that elsewhere and tim ross seems to be uh you know she, he has no problem with that okay so the issue is not what other people think or they want the issue is does the Bible speak on this issue? And the answer is yes. The Bible speaks on this issue. It does speak on this issue. But Tim Ross doesn't, either he doesn't know that or he doesn't believe that. One, either way. Let's continue. But the Bible says, I know exactly what the Bible says. Paul said, Paul, Paul's dope. Yeah, Paul meant what he said about women keeping silent. I just don't think he meant what he said to be applied across all time. And y'all do. Y'all do. And, and it's, just a, it's just a wild place to like hang your hat and like say, I'm going to die on this hill. A woman can't preach to me. But all these male preachers are still sleeping with women in secret. According to him, that it wasn't, uh, he believes that's what Paul says, right? But it's not for this time. It was for back then. So when is the cutoff? Okay, when is the cutoff? How do you decide, pick and choose? Like, oh, this is for now. This was for back then. Like, no. This was true for people back then, and this is true for us now because it, was, it because it is a command, okay? Because it is a command. Now, even if other, you know, uh, uh, the false teachers who are out there sleeping around and anything else, that is sinful. But just because they are sinful, they're doing those things, it still does not allow, it still does not 
make it okay for women to assume uh, 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 to be pastors. Okay? It, 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 this is not arbitrary. This is like, oh, because men are doing this, therefore men should be, uh, women should be doing this. No. We're just going by what, they teach, uh, what the Bible teaches, and that's where we stand on. Okay? That's where we stand on. Once you start opening doors, like, oh, I don't think it's a big deal here, not a big deal there, you, it's going to land you in trouble. And Tim Ross doesn't care about that. But we'll continue. At least a, at least a woman preacher is going back home to her husband, or a lot of the women preachers that are single, at least they're going back home. They don't have no... I was about to say something crass. They don't have any penis on the side. But how, but how many men do we know that have this, this thing? And, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of women out here, uh, preachers that are lesbians on the down low. Um, and I know that too. I know all the things. A lot of, of y'all be mad at me because when I, when, I, when I decide to hit one topic, y'all always talking about, but what about? Well, we ain't talking about that right now. We're talking about this. I know there's two sides to every coin, but let me just address this right now. Well, over here, because that, the, 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 hush. When we're talking about a topic, let us talk about that topic. And right now, I'm going to talk about the fact that we got a lot of people out here that won't let women preach, that literally get up while they're preaching and, and walk out because a woman, a, 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 a woman should not be the head of a man. Well, um, all those people who ended up walking out because the woman was sick, that was actually a good thing, okay? That was actually a good thing. I'm even wondering why did they find themselves in that situation to begin with in the first place where a woman ended up uh, mounting the pulpit to be preaching and teaching, okay? If they walk out, good for them. And this is not a matter of like, oh, how come men are not allowing women to be teaching? The men who are allowing women to be teaching, they are in violation of the scriptures. The women who are accepting the teaching role to be teaching to men, they are also in violation of what the scripture teaches. So both of them are in the wrong. It doesn't matter if you think, oh, they are talented. These women are gifted. They are this, they are that. That's not the issue. People are, are gifted in so many areas. You don't get to do everything that you want simply because you're gifted. And the reason why you're not teaching it's nothing to do with you being gifted. It's something to do with what, how God has ordained the affairs of the church. So you either go by what the, the Bible teaches. If you believe that the Bible is authoritative, if the scripture is sufficient, you're just going to go by that. We already have the qualifications of an elder. It's not like this is a teaching whereby like, ah, oh, we don't know. No, it's already there. Who should be an elder and what are the qualifications? None of them are for women. Tim Ross should read his Bible. To know that but we continue of the church is a male and he's allowed this woman to come preach is based on the way you think and you operate is not that woman operating under the authority of a man <laughs> he just thinks that he just said something like a, a mic drop okay a woman coming in to teach she is not operating under the authority of a man. Both she and him are operating in disobedience according to the authority of the scriptures. It does not make it okay for a woman to preach just because a man has said so. Okay? Both of them, they should be under the scriptures. But Tim Ross doesn't know that. Of a church service where the lead pastor of that church is a man. He's invited this woman to preach and or teach on a Sunday morning. And you walk out of that service on a Sunday morning. You are not walking out on her. You're walking out on him. Technically, you're walking out on both. Okay. The one, the man who invited the woman and the woman who is teaching, which is a good thing, by the way, I support. But you shouldn't find yourself in that situation to begin with. Unless if you just walked into a church, you had no clue what the affairs are. But man, these are the things that you're supposed to be checking, okay? We check everything else, so why can't you check to where you want to go to get your soul fed? So now your disagreement is with your pastor? So now you are a brother sowing or sister sowing discord? And you didn't know this about the church doctrine before you joined this church? And you can't survive one Sunday? <laughs> Y'all sitting up here. Y'all sitting up here like all these women are only supposed to do women's conferences. Like they ain't got nothing to say to, women, to men. 
Yes, that's exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Women are supposed to be doing women conferences, okay? Teaching to women. That's exactly what they're supposed to be doing. If they have something to say, they can say it. Just don't do it during Sunday, during service, during worship service in a mixed audience where men are present. They can do that using all other means except when the church is in assembly. That's it. We're not saying that women cannot speak. They can just not on a Sunday worship. Well, she's supposed to teach at home. She's supposed to teach at home. So she can teach, she can teach your young sons and daughters, but at what age can your son not no longer listen to this woman? Make it make sense. Tell me, tell me, tell me the age. When, 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 when does, when does it become a, a, a violation for a woman to teach a man? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20? It becomes a violation when a woman is preaching and teaching in a Sunday service, during worship service, okay? That's when it becomes a violation. So this is not the issue over here. So Tim Ross thinks that he's dropped some jewels over here. No, you haven't. Either you're talking about the home or you're talking about the church. As far as the text is concerned, the scripture is concerned, it's talking about the church. I can use a doggy. Why can't he use women? I'm, listen, I don't even like that analogy because then we're putting women... On, 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 on the same plane as a donkey? No, I bet you we're not. Do we, do we even remember Genesis 1 and Genesis 2? He created them male and female, them male and female. Then he separated, took out of Adam Eve, brought Eve back to Adam for Adam to go in Eve. First Timothy 2.12. But I do not allow a woman to teach or exercise authority over a man, but to remain quiet. For it was Adam who was formed first, and then Eve. And it was not Adam who was deceived, but the woman being deceived fell into trespass. That's what the Bible teaches. It's taking it back all the way to Genesis. Okay? When Paul is giving this... Um, uh, this command that I do not permit a woman to teach. It's nothing to do with the culture of their day, uh, contrary to what most people think, okay? He is taking it back to creation. Adam was formed first. What does that mean? That's patriarchy, by the way. People don't want to hear that word anymore. This is talking about male headship. Adam was formed first. By the time Eve came on the scene, everything was already done. Okay, Adam is the one who is naming animals. That's him exercising authority. That's him exercising um, headship. Adam is the one who named Eve. And when they fell, who was God looking for? Who was God asking? Adam, where are you? Why was God asking for Adam? Because Adam is the one who was in charge. And now we are in this situation. So anytime a man lets a woman to teach, to preach in the church, Guess what they're doing? They're just doing the same thing that Adam did back in Genesis. Okay? So a man who lets a woman preach and teach, he is the one who is abdicating his responsibility or the authority. So they are reversing the role. So he's taking his, his authority and giving it to a woman. Okay? Which is wrong, biblically speaking. So a man shouldn't do that. When they do it, they're in violation of... Um, the word of God. And when the woman accepts it and preaches, she's also in violation of the word of God. And give birth? What are we talking about? And because of the brokenness that happens after Genesis chapter number three, you mean to tell me that a woman has no right to preach the word of God, but she got this revelation and she has this impartation and she's theologically sound, but she can teach other women. A man can't be present though, because nobody can learn from Priscilla Shire. Except just make sure it's all vaginas in the room because if a penis gets in there, it's in the same room with, with Priscilla Shire and then she's speaking. Or what happens to that man? He, he'll be corrupted by her revelation. If Jackie Hill Perry is, is convicting people about the word of God and, and this is one of our, our, our premier theologians in, 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 in my generation f for sure, uh, but Jackie Hill Perry should only, she, let her do her glory conference, but no men should show up there. The glory is just for other women. Let the glory be for other women. But don't let Jackie, don't, don't, I, I'm a man. I can't read Jackie Hill Perry's devotional because if I read Jackie Hill Perry's devotional, maybe I'm trans. Are you serious? Well, if you want to read Jackie Hill Perry's devotional, have at it. Okay, have at it. All the Bible is saying women should not be preaching and teaching during, uh, when the church is gathered. 
whether those women are talented or not, it's besides the point. Okay, it's besides the point. This is a problem when people want to apply what the, what this culture is saying. They just don't want to go by what the Bible teaches. You find yourself in this situation. Look around you. Any church that has compromised having women pastors, they've compromised on biblical sexuality, and they've compromised on the authority of the scriptures. And some of the denominations, uh, they, they've just collapsed. Even hear yourselves? What are you talking about? You cannot be serious. But you are. And that's what's scary. That, that, that Nona Jones can't come speak at your church. Dr. Anita Phillips can't come speak at your church because she's a woman. Latasha Morrison can't come speak at your church. Y'all got all of these, all of these theological hangups like, like that are non-essentials. If you have a preference, that's one thing. But, yo, if you go. It's not a preference, Tim Rose. Okay? It's not a preference. He, he likes to truncate the word of God because he was saying, oh, the, the, the Trinity is not essential L before. Now, oh, women being uh, pastors, whatever, is not essential. What else, Tim Rose? What else? What else? All those women that he mentioned, yes, they cannot come to church and preach. They can go to churches and teach to other women. Okay, they can do that. If the church is doing that and you're a member of that church, you need run, run. Cause it's, and they say, oh, can you just survive on one Sunday only? No, you shouldn't. The Bible does not give you room that, oh, you can, uh, you can violate the law of God just one time. You can violate the law of God just one time. You can disobey God one time. Like, no. The scripture is clear. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority of a man. That's what the Bible teaches. So we go by that. You have a home. That's the home government. A man is the head of that household. You have a church. Okay. Christ is the head of his church. And then you have the under shepherds who are men, not women. Women can serve in the church. There's so much stuff that women can be doing in the church. But they shouldn't just, uh, they cannot, according to the scriptures, be preaching and teaching to a mixed audience. They can do women's ministries. And that's what they do. Okay, they can teach to children. They can help in administrative work. There's so many things that they can do. Just leave the pulpit alone. And by the way, not all men can be uh, preaching and teaching. Okay, it's men who are called. It's men who are qualified for that particular work. And the women, she mentioned like, okay, Jackie Hill, Perry, Priscilla, they all preach and teach to men. So why do we have a problem? Hmm? Why do we have a problem? This is a problem when you let feminism start dictating the affairs of the church. That's an issue. That's a problem. It's, uh, this is not a matter of preference. Okay? And people always go by like, oh, okay, what about Deborah? Yes. Deborah was not uh, offering sacrifices in the temple. Okay? That was the duty of the priest. Not Deborah. And Deborah was a charge. And what's happening in the book of Judges? Uh, everybody was doing what was right in their own eyes. And they were under judgment. Whenever you have a woman teaching Whenever you have a woman exercising authority over men, that is a sign of judgment. It is a judgment itself. So those are, in, uh, the, the Bible is clear. None of the apostles were um, female apostles, okay? So now he is so, 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 she's a female, she's an apostle. Like, okay, where do you get that? Okay, all the scriptures were written by men. Women, did not, women didn't write the scriptures, Okay. Uh, women were instrumental in uh, Paul's ministry. You have Phoebe. You have Sintiki. Okay? Women were there at the tomb. Uh, uh, Jesus' ministry. You have men. You have Martha. There's so many things that women over throughout church history, they've done so much. They've done so much. You have Susanna Wesley. Okay? Raising all those uh, children of hers and teaching them uh, in the scriptures. We have that, okay? We have um, Charles Spurgeon's wife. So there's so many good stories of women doing uh, extra work, things that are extraordinary. We have good, solid women today who are theologically sound, okay? Erin Coates up in Canada. You have Susan Haig, solid women, but they operate within um, their God-ordained roles. They're not wondering when they should mount a puppet. No, they're not. So... The women who are competing 
with men wanting to be preaching and teaching to other men and they're telling you like, oh, God told me, ah, oh, whatever. No, they're wrong, okay? The Holy Spirit himself, the author of the scriptures says women should not be preaching and teaching to men. If they're doing that, they're in contradiction with the scriptures. That's all, we're, that's all that we're saying. It's crazy when people are, you are at your own church though. You're at your own church. The lead pastor brought a woman in to speak. And then this is the, this is the time that you want to protest. You want to protest as she's saying, turn in your Bibles to Exodus chapter number three. You're like, that's where I stop. <laughs> I let you do the introduction of this woman. And I let you, I let you, I, I just watched the video intro. But now that she's cracked open her Bible, I must leave now. This is where I make my stand right here. That's just wild to me, fam. That's just wild. And so, um, I am, uh. What I'm, I'm gonna let y'all do what y'all do. Y'all, y'all go ahead and. Yes, so you can see Tim Ross is very displeased with this situation at all. But the problem that he has is not with anybody. He has an issue with the scriptures. Okay, we have already demonstrated uh, using scriptures, showing him, telling him. He's just telling us his opinions over here. Okay, so those do not hold any water. So even if he has an objection to women being pastors, he's supposed to tell us, according to this text, according to this chapter, this is why women should be preachers and teachers, because scripture interprets scripture. So all the things that he's brought up, telling us about the donkey, okay? The donkey spoke. So if God can use a donkey, you mean God cannot use women? God uses women all the time. When the donkey was speaking, it was not in the church. Okay, telling us like, oh, okay, women are gifted and everything. Absolutely, yes, women are gifted. They can use those gifts teaching other women, teaching children. Oh, at what age should women uh, not be teaching uh, their children? They can do whatever else they want to do in their home. We're just saying, according to the scriptures, they cannot be preaching and teaching when the church is gathered. So I believe we have answered uh, Tim Ross's question according to the scriptures. It might help him if he sticks to the scriptures rather than giving us his opinions. But what say you guys? That is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this to be informative to you. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.